the giant moths that are crawling to me and it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I had a huge fear of moths. So I was trying not to move. A huge breeze came and kind of knocked her over. And then as she fell over, she just started crawling to me. I think she wanted to find a place to just climb up. When she crawled on my heart, it was really slow and she didn't look like she had a strong grip. It was ticklish, but she was actually pretty calm. Then after she didn't move much or just sat in one place, I just kind of got comfortable. I just wasn't expecting her to look that cute. I think she had just came out of her cocoon and was drying her wings. She stood on my hand the entire day. Then at nighttime, I put her up near a planet so no animal could find her. But when I came back, she was there with a male. I was so surprised. This male came all the way to find her and then they paired up. I heard that there was a big thunderstorm coming, so I wanted to keep the moths in. The male had left, but the female was still there. So I brought her in and I put her in a little tent. After it stopped raining, I let her go and that was the last time I saw her. I realized she had laid a lot of eggs all over her tents. So that's when I decided to raise all the caterpillars. I felt like she meant for me to raise them. I did some research out of a hundred caterpillars, only one would make it to adulthood. And I really wanted to make sure that all 200 eggs made it. They started getting bigger and bigger. They were eating nonstop. And then I eventually got to see one spin its cocoon. And then the others started following as well. After they all formed their cocoons, it was just a waiting game. As soon as I saw the first one hatch, I was super excited. To see the transformation from caterpillar to moth, I think that's really amazing. <laughs> One eighty hatch. As soon as they grew into moths, I would go to different parks and release them. I was not expecting a moth to change my whole life. I'm hoping that I could help people change their minds about moths and hopefully other insects.